Hello friends. Right now I have completed all those uh, hormone. I mean all the, my synthesis of thyroid hormone right now in my previous lecture. So now I would like to discuss with you the metabolism of thyroid hormones. So the thyroid hormone which has been synthesized, I mean which has been secreted in the blood here. This thyroid hormone, what is the fate of this thyroid hormone right now? What does it happen to this thyroid hormone? So this thyroid hormone uh, which is formed in the, I mean which is formed in the follicular cell and then extended into the blood. This has three transporters. That is it binds to three transporting proteins. So these two thyroid hormones both T4 and T3 they binds to two transporter uh, proteins which are thyroxine binding globulin which is TBG and thyroxine binding pre-albumin which is TBPA or anstyretin or albumin so these three three transporter proteins so these three transporter proteins carry the thyroxine to that is the thyroid hormone to their uh, normal sites so first um, so all the three uh, but transport proteins these three transport proteins will take thyroxine from uh, one place to another place so let us discuss with each of these okay all the three glycoproteins all the three plasma proteins will be discussed in detail most probably in physiology when we are dealing with it so what are the importance of the what is the importance of protein binding one is these proteins serve as reservoir for these hormones and second this protects the hormone against metabolic degradation because uh, um, the t3 and t4 can be degraded but this helps in decreased degradation and this provides a feedback effect on regulation so this is what uh, i would like to discuss uh, and uh, i have already mentioned in your in my in my previous class that in the blood you I mean in the thyroid increased I mean more t4 and less of 3 t3 are produced in the thyroid gland this occurs in thyroid in thyroid gland more of t3 and less of more of t4 and less of t3 are produced but whenever in the periphery this t4 is converted to t3 whenever we need our uh, uh, thing i mean whenever we we, have, we need our uh, we need thyroid hormone for our metabolic processes then t this t4 is converted to t3 sometimes this t4 is converted to rt3 which is reverse t3 uh, this reverse t3 is physiologically inert it does not have any function basically uh, so this is what happens in the periphery right so this uh, thyroid hormone after completion of its uh, uh, work uh, it has to be degraded or metabolized it is necessary for each and every hormone which is produced it should be metabolized in one or the other way so how is the thyroid hormone metabolized so this thyroid hormone is metabolized by the by few enzymes so uh, the final part of this video is metabolism of thyroid hormone right this thyroid after completion of its work 
this is metabolized by enzymes those enzymes are called as deiodinases this deiodinase is of three types type 1 2 and 3 there are three types of deiodinase which will degrade the thyroid hormone all the deiodinase have selenocysteine which is an amino acid right this amino acid uh, will make the enzyme which uh, these enzyme potent for oxidoreductive reactions so this selenium uh, is present in this amino acid which is uh, deiodinases so these three are also called as deiodinase 1 that is d1 d2 d3 these can be abbreviated as d1 d2 d3 the site of action of all the three is different like D1 is present in liver, kidney, thyroid, pituitary. Right? D2 is present in skeletal muscle, brain, pituitary. Placenta and brown fat. D3 are present in brain and reproductive organs. This is the main three enzymes. These three enzymes convert basically. T3, T4 to T3. Right? This T3 is degraded to diiodothyronins. So, what happens basically is this is T4, peripherally it is converted to T3. After action is completed, so this T3 is degraded to diiodothyronins. This is thyronins, that is tyrosine, right? Which we saw DIT, that is diiodothyrosine. This is diiodothyronins. This occurs by deiodinases, right? Uh, this is what occurs, and this T3. And T4 is also conjugated with or this may also is conjugated with sulfates and glucuronic acid. It may directly conjugate with sulfates and glucuronic acid or this diiodothyronine is conjugated with sulfates and glucuronic acid. And these conjugated forms are secreted into bile. From bile, they enter intestine and then uh, there are two ways. One, it may re-enter enterohepatic circulation. That is through intestine, it may be absorbed and then it is taken into the liver. So, what is this? So, let me discuss it in clear right now here. From intestine, it reaches into system uh, blood after the absorption. So, from the blood, it reaches liver again. And from the liver, it again into bile and from bile to again intestine. So, this is um, enterohepatic circulation. And finally, it is excreted. I mean, it may again go to blood. It may be like this or it is excreted in stools so this is the degradation of uh, thyroxine hormone so right now in today's and i mean in now and the before lecture i had discussed about the uh, formation of the synthesis of thyroid hormones and then the metab i mean how it uh, from the blood it reaches to the to their target cells and from then uh, 
what is the active form of thyroid and inactive form of thyroid and then we discussed about the metabolism of thyroid and excretion of thyroid in detail so in our next class we will discuss about the pharmacological not all the physiological actions or pharmacological actions of thyroid hormone okay then bye